guys. Richard from Forsyth Video here with uh, Coconut as well. I somehow knew he'd be right up in my face, but I will move him in just a second. So I'm striving to take the channel to a new level this year, which means I would like to have... Hey, buddy, come on. I would like to have a weekly series. And... Due to my schedule and how hard things are, I can't do much more that I can guarantee to get out every week than kind of a talky video like this. But uh, I think the most common thing on my channel people request are more talky videos. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to Guitar Talk, episode one, where I pick a, you know, a uh, stallion out the stable, if you will, and bring it up here so that you guys can check it out and... Probably not a demo series because as you see this one's only got five strings on it A lot of times there's guitars that I'm working on that I just want to talk about uh, In this case we have a switch Vibracell Innova 4 signature a pretty freaking Sweet axe a sweet axe guitar a pretty sweet axe that I was able to pick up locally I don't know if you guys remember um, on the channel a couple years ago Daryl and I found that amazing cache of guitars that uh locally at a pawn shop had bought off a gentleman and it was like 90 something guitar i don't think it was 90 something it was it was a lot of guitars we went through most of them in that video and several of them were switch brand guitars and this was one of them that caught my eye that day but for about two years the guys had it in his shop and uh the price finally came down and i was finally like look if you give it to me for this price i'll take it off your hands right now and he did so pretty cool Good people there at the pawn shop and tax service over on uh, Fairfield, Pensacola, Florida. Go check them out. Um, what are switch guitars? Well, there's a lot of conflicting information. A lot of people think that, oh, they're made of plastic. Well, they're kind of, kind of in the way that a guitar body made of resin, like you, that's real popular right now, is made of plastic because resin is a type of plastic, right? This is basically a resin. And it is uh, not like your standard resin you see in a lot of guitars where you just pour the resin and you get what you get. And around the 2003-2004 er era, some guys got together. I don't know all the details, but they got together to make, uh, using scientific testing, a very resonant body from resin that was the exact density to lead itself to have great sustain. And in NAMM 2004, when these guys came out, that was one of the things that a lot of the demo players and guys there at the uh, NAMM were saying was just how great the sustain was on these guitars. And they're not cheaply made. They are, uh, they they have, uh, this one doesn't have them, but some of them have EMGs. These have their own brand pickups, has Wilkinson Hardware, uh, Grover Tuners. So they're not like cheap, crappy guitars made of plastic. They're actually really really cool and they don't warp and twist uh the way wood does in temperature fluctuations they can supposedly um stand a much larger a much wider range of temperatures before any warping occurs now the fretboard on these guys is made of ebonite which is their own brand of hard resin to uh, imitate ebony so there's no grain on the fretboard. It's smooth. It's it's black, and you never have to worry about oiling it. You just clean it off, kind of like a like a maple fretboard that's been cleared, like a Fender fretboard or something like that. Very very interesting guitars, and they're made as one piece. So if we flip her around here, you can see, hey buddy, you can see that the neck goes straight into the body. So it's all one piece. And they call this their Vibracell technology. And what it is is the uh, body has chambers in it sort of that allow it to be, again, more resonant. And the, the pickups on this guy, I believe, are both Alnico pickups. This is their Stinger down here, which is a hot rock and roll type pickup. And then this up here is a more smooth pickup for gain, for uh, like blues playing lead and high gain leads and whatnot but to keep them smooth so i can't wait to do an actual demo of this once i get it cleaned up i bought it to sell but you know how that goes I may end up keeping it so yeah this is a pretty neat guitar it's got a tremolo wilkinson trim in it i mean it's got dual 
coil taps. Like I'm very excited about it. Uh, abalone inlays with a, a faux mother of pearl, but one of the best looking faux mother of pearls I've ever seen. It doesn't look like it's plastic, which oddly the guitar is. And they call this their uh, blue fire mist finish, which is like a blue sparkle. Super, super pretty. So yeah, what is this thing we're doing? Where is this place we're in? Well, this is the room I've been working on. If you look around, guys. Um, kind of a Victorian industrial inspired kind of room. Like, I dig it. People uh, who are on my face balls on my friends list seem to dig it too. So I'm going to try to shoot more in here. Hoping to use the big uh, chairs back there for interviews and whatnot. And uh, you see that big circle thing? That's Coconut's treadmill. He runs in that. Kind of surprised he's not doing that now. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't write any of this. This is just going to be kind of an informal, hopefully weekly show. I don't know if I'll always put them out on Mondays. I'm thinking Wednesdays maybe. But uh, tell me about some of your guitars. Tell me if you've had any experience with Switch guitars. Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this series sometimes will bring Daryl in and maybe other guests just to talk about their axes. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I just wanted to explain this super cool guitar that will make another appearance on the channel. And you will get to hear it. And uh, I think maybe every week I'll come back with another axe or bring a friend over with their axe and they can talk about it. And it should be a fun time. But thanks for watching. Uh, Coconut says thanks as well. And we'll see you guys next time.